Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to transfer your Mint Mobile service to a new phone, an eSIM phone, and not a physical SIM card to another SIM card phone. But I do have a link below to how this can be done. First, activate your new phone, in this case, an iPhone. Then back up your new phone, making sure you have everything from your old phone. Finally, make sure your new phone is compatible with Mint Mobile. If you didn't buy it from them, make sure it's unlocked. Here I mentioned number one to number four. You can pause it and read it yourself, or you can just follow me through this video. Here, notice that I got the new phone on Wi-Fi to be able to back up everything from my old phone. When you come across this notification on your new phone, make sure you don't select to transfer your phone number. According to Mint Mobile, they don't support this quick transfer. Yet, you will transfer your number through their app, so don't worry. Here's that Mint Mobile documentation. You can pause it if you like. So I'll bypass it and select set up later. And it's asking you again, just skip it. Just carry on and select continue. I'll do the face ID off camera. Choose which is best for you here. I'll do transfer from iPhone. While I am transferring data directly from one phone to another, and I have to wait for the Mint Mobile app to be downloaded for me to be able to continue on. Here you see that notification again, so you know what to do. So if you're activating your new phone not from backup, you can simply download the Mint Mobile app right away and skip to the Mint Mobile app section in this video. Now here I'm getting a new notification implying the same thing to transfer my number. If you can, select not now, but I'm getting an overlapping notification. Choose what is best for you here. So here it is, it was under the other one. Select not now. Okay, now that we have the Mint Mobile app installed, we can start the main process. Open up the app. Yeah, I don't have much data here. It's my secondary phone. Okay, now that we downloaded and installed the Mint Mobile app, we'll continue on number two down to number 11. By that, I mean you could just watch the rest of the video. Select account on the bottom right corner. Scroll down and select change device. Right here. Select change device. Choose get an eSIM. And select this is my new device. Here they give you five eSIM per year for free. Therefore select check out. I am connected to Wi-Fi. Then you'll be asked to enter the SMS code that was sent to your phone, in this case, my old phone. Look for the code and then just type it in. It'll take a bit, so I'll speed up the video. While it's processing, your old phone's signal will go out, as you can see right there. Then you'll see the check mark and purchase successful. Here you want to install your eSIM by selecting continue. Confirm install eSIM. This time allow it to activate the new eSIM. Boom, you've switched over. <laughs> but you have to confirm to activate your new eSIM still again. Just select continue one last time. I'm speeding up the video here again. At the top of the screen of the new phone, you can see that it's about to gain or get signal. On the old phone, it had already gone out earlier. There you can see the signal on the new phone. That means the setup is complete. 
and you also see that the old phone is signed out. It's pretty much done, so select done. Everything now for Mint Mobile on the new phone is the same as the old phone. Got the signal, got everything. And also that Mint Mobile Wi-Fi calling. And you also get the email telling you that you have officially switched, that the switch to a new eSIM is complete. One last thing though, later they also sent you an email for you to make sure Mint Mobile is set up as a, your primary carrier and what to do. So what you do is go to settings and scroll to cellular and under eSIMs make sure your number is set to primary. It was checkmarked on cellular data before, so I had to switch to primary. Anyway, that's all I got. I hope you find this video useful, and thank you for watching.